Despite Valve's commitment to making Linux a viable platform for PC gamers, there is still quite a long ways to go, and for most folks, Windows is just much easier. Games simply just work, even if they are, let's say, 10 or 15 years old. It doesn't take too much time to kind of just do a quick Google, figuring out maybe you have to run it in compatibility mode or something like that. Plus, many applications simply do not play well right now with Linux, for example, the Adobe Creative Suite. Yes, there are ways around that, and for a lot of people, I do also recommend dual booting if you start wanting to play around with Linux. But I also wanted to put this video out, and it's sponsored by WhoKeys, and I'll be showing you guys how to get a cheap copy of Windows 11 in just a moment, which is fantastic if you're just building a new PC. But the main purpose of this video is to actually show you how to improve your Windows experience. So the first things we're going to go through is to show you guys how to essentially install all of the commonly used applications such as Steam, Firefox, Chrome, various you know decompression software like 7-Zip or WinRAR and so on and so on in just a few clicks. It's a script, it's totally available for free and it will also allow you to update all of your software very easily as well. And then we're going to move on to de-bloating. Microsoft have a goal right now and that goal seems to be to crapify Windows more and more and more by putting tons of bloatware in it, well, advertising, it just... Sometimes you just want to go back to Windows Vista and that's saying something. But thanks to a very easy to run script, and we're going to go through how it works in just a moment, you will find Windows runs snappier and it's really nice as well if you have a mini PC or perhaps an older piece of hardware, or even if you've got like a shiny Threadripper or something like that, and you just simply don't want tons of crap running in the background. Let's just get right into it, shall we? So whokeys.com have been a great long-time sponsor of the channel and they have tons of software available at excellent prices. I'm going to be using my own personal account. I've bought lots of software from them previously, but I'll be picking up a Windows 11 Pro key, which I'll be activating on the test bench that we're going to be using for this video. If you want to use the coupon code RGT, you can save 25% off of your order too. Of course, you can find links in the video description if you want to check out whokeys. Now, again, I've personally bought from them several times, and so have my friends, with no issues whatsoever. Now that we're sitting on the Windows 11 desktop, I'm going to finally get around to activating 11 Pro using PowerShell. Now, of course, you can do this using the Windows setting, but let's do it the Pro way. So you can search for PowerShell under the Windows Start menu, right-click on it, and run as administrator, then slmgr.vbs slash dlv space and then you can type in the key that you've got okay guys so um we have two apps that we're going to be using the first is nineite which basically allows you to essentially install everything um, you can see that there are a lot of different applications here everything from web browsers like chrome opera firefox etc uh, images, Blender, GIMP, um, tons of things like Evernote, uh, obviously you've got Discord, Skype, um, TeamViewer, if you want to do pretty much any, you know, if you've just basically, if you've just installed Windows, this is absolutely great because it just essentially makes things a lot easier for you. You don't have to go through and install everything manually um, and so it can just save you a lot of time. So let's just Kind of install a couple of basic ones. Now this is um, a system that I usually use for benchmarking, but with that said, it is a pain in the ass because I currently don't have uh, WinRAR, which is sometimes kind of nice. I'm also going to install 7-Zip, excuse me. Uh, I'm probably going to... Uh, Steam is already installed on my one, um, so I'm not going to install that. However, OpenOffice could well be a little bit handy for me. Uh, I'm also going to install Audacity, even though I don't use it a ton on this system, it would be nice. But, of course, you guys can install whatever you want. Uh, if you're a developer as well, there's a lot of easy, um, you know, kind of easily accessible things here, like you've got JDK, Putty, if you're doing like, you know, that type of stuff, uh, Visual Studio. But anyway, let's just get Ninite. So, um, well, that was pretty simple, wasn't it? So now, yeah. That was painless, wasn't it? Look at this. 
Now again, obviously with something like this, you're going to customize it, tweak it, but it just saves you so much bloody work. One of the... <sighs> One of the most daunting things when you have a new PC build, uh, and this is particularly true if you're just kind of starting from fresh, or maybe you've... Maybe you're at a friend's house and they've just bought their first system, maybe they're getting into PC building and you want to kind of get them uh, started with like, you know, all of the normal things like Steam and just kind of get them up and running as quickly as possible. This is great. So uh, we're just going to wait for this to install. Okay, so let's check out a couple of applications. Actually, I think the easiest way of doing this is let's just click on start and well, there's Audacity. Uh, obviously, for me anyway, Audacity is not going to be functioning at the moment because I don't have a microphone installed on the system. But, you know, shiny happy things. So, I would really recommend using this. Um, it's completely free. Obviously, I'm not being sponsored for this, but it's just so handy. Um, there is also a pro version, and you can see that there's like a web interface, and you've got a lot more choices and stuff like that. But I think for most people, honestly, this is going to be absolutely okay. And the bottom line is as well, this allows you to essentially have a version, sorry, installed all of the uh, latest software with fully updated versions and also picks between 32 or 64 bit, although pretty much everyone at this point is gonna be using obviously 64 bit anyway. And if you do need to update any of your versions, you can basically just run um, none it again and then um, basically it will uh, update everything for you. Okay guys, so now we're gonna be using Windows 11 D Bloater. You can obviously just do a quick Google search for this and it will pop up. Um, I'm gonna be using the Raffire Windows 11 D Bloater. Um, basically this allows you to do a buttload of different things. Uh, remove various bloatware apps, you can disable telemetry, uh, Bing search, Copilot, um, stuff for File Explorer, Taskbar, um, obviously, some of this stuff is going to be dependent on the particular version of Windows that you're utilizing. Uh, so what we're going to do is utilize the quick method. There are other ways you can run this as well. Um, so, for example, you could download the script if you prefer. But again, I'm just going to be doing this for now. So we're going to go type in power. That's not how you spell PowerShell. Come on, PowerShell. Right click and run as administrator. Yes. And then we just right click and after a few seconds it's going to whiz now the default mode is as you would expect it's basically just going to do everything as default you can customize it or you can basically select and remove the apps only without making other changes uh, for this particular thing i'm going to do one which is the default mode and it will basically tell you what it's going to do now obviously some of this stuff again is only going to be for Windows 10, for example. So obviously that's not going to be um, based on this. So we're just going to click OK. And script is complete. So I think we just have to press a button to exit. I can't quite see because I've increased the DPI massively. So now we've actually um, executed this. You can see one of the things, for example, it's done is uh, allows now the default of showing hidden files and folders. For some reason, it hasn't aligned the taskbar to the left, but you can do that anyway. Like the script sometimes going to be a bit screwy. I would highly recommend that if it's being run on a system that is up and running already so you've you know got lots of personal data and stuff like that you do obviously create a restore point if this is like a new installation of windows and you don't have anything that really particularly matters then it's probably you know it doesn't really matter too much it's like oh okay you have to reinstall windows eh. again i would recommend a restore point anyway um by the way as an fyi with this particular script um, basically, you need a later version of Windows. I think it's like WinGet is a prerequisite for this. Um, so if you have Windows 11 and it has not been updated to like the later patches this year, you might have some trouble. It basically just won't run at all. At least that's what I've experienced. It will basically just throw up some errors. But that's pretty much it, actually. Um, as you can see, uh, everything has been executed successfully. And yeah, that's it. 
So thanks very much guys for checking out the video. Hopefully you have found it helpful. And also thanks to Hookies for sponsoring the video. In the video description, you can of course find links to Windows 11 plus other software. And again, if you use the coupon code RGT in checkout, you can save yourself a chunk of cash. With that said, I will also add that I absolutely love Nanai. Yes, there are ways of certainly creating custom Windows installation media and, you know, so on and so on. But I think this is just really simple. So if, for example, you're trying to help a beginner, maybe someone who's just getting into a PC, or you just can't be bothered, this is just great. I sometimes love very simple, you don't have to think about it, click a few button solutions. And uh, again, I think this really does uh, pretty much check all the boxes. With that said... Take care of yourselves. Bye for now.